Hey, Vaughn, I'm looking at a head in a jar. You know this person? Ah, no way! That's my Deputy War Chief Vic! <laughs> She's my best brunette! Grab that head! They must have been interrogated. At midnight sent me on a quest to return a head to somebody who would really like it back. This just happened to be his deputy, Vic, and I am not going to lie, head case, as a mission, is kinda weird. The mission starts off asking you to backtrack to the beginning of the area, which I was probably going to do anyway, so no big deal there. However, once you do that backtracking and place the head where it's supposed to go, you end up getting thrown into what they call a simulation. The simulation in this particular case is the exact same map, but with a lovely Instagram filter. Is this Clarendon? I'm not actually that familiar with Instagram filters, so if anybody knows what this one would be, just, uh, just, just let me know in the comments, that would be great. So what's the big problem that I had with this mission? Well, after they make you backtrack to the beginning of the Holy Broadcast Center, they then ask you to go back through the Holy Broadcast Center. So basically, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before, but in a simulation. Except the simulation is the exact same thing as the regular world. This is not exactly how AR is supposed to work. Usually, there's something extra on top. And obviously, someone did not get the memo. Basically, go back, fight the same enemies that you were fighting before, but you are a level higher, so this is actually far easier. Except that everything now has this blue tint on it, which is very strange when I am apparently on fire, but think I'm also frozen. Near the doorway that would take me to Mouthpiece's arena, I turned around to find Vic. Vic seemed justifiably distraught, considering the state her head was in when I found it. Her interrogator showed up, and I was actually very happy that I was already inside Iron Bear, because that made this part significantly easier. I had practically demolished his armor by the time Iron Bear ran out of fuel, and it was just a matter of time before I took the interrogator down. At least that's what you would think, and then I got into fight for your life mode because of some guy shooting me in the back. Luckily, I shot him right back, and I shot him good. The interrogator got me on the floor, and I thought my time was up. But perseverance paid off, and I got him first. Deja vu set in as we backtracked out of the facility yet again. I took advantage of the nearby vending machines to unload all the guns that I had picked up, because I am a pack rat. And it is at this point, at the end of the quest, where things really don't make much sense. I reunited Vic with her head. But she still has her head. So, did she regrow the head? These are questions that I still ask. Even now, so many levels later. It wasn't particularly well explained, but I realized it was better if I didn't think about it too much. At least now Vic could be with herself. Because... Yeah, again, let's not think too much about it. And that was basically everything that happened until I reached level 9. What happens at level 9, you might ask? Well, I realize that I could have made my life so much easier, so much sooner. Yeah. You're living the dream! Maybe getting connected to a torture device for a simulated eternity of unspeakable horrors wasn't such a bad deal after all. Yeah, high five! Dude, not cool.